wrestling, he has exploded onto the scene. Back-to-back -back incredible matches with Konosuke Takeshita and Kyle Fletcher. And now, boys, to face the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, live on April 21st, Sunday, as we make our return to St. Louis for Dynasty, AEW's newest pay-per-view event. And you still have a chance to join us, AEWTIX.com. And before we get to this, I want to send congratulations to uh, Tony Schiavone becoming a grandfather for the eighth time. Oh, that's great. Congratulations, Shabana. And uh, congratulations to Matt and Jules. And also want to send our best wishes to our colleague at every effort, Justin Roberts. A great reaction here for Osprey. Comes out here with a lot of energy. Osprey, Osprey. Osprey, Osprey. This ranch of audio without great. Tony mentioned it earlier, the level of talent here in all elite wrestling has never, ever been higher. And let's it's go back crazy. to the ring nuts. and Tony. All right. Okay, Will Ospreay, the things you have been doing here in AEW, I've told you this before, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. But coming up now, it's you and Brian Danielson. It's a match I know fans around the world are looking forward to coming up on April 21st. Mate, uh, so I rocked up today and they said, what do you want to do? I said, send Shivani out there. I want to go talk to the beautiful people of Boston. Yeah. And on April 21st, this match means so much to me. My entire career, all I've wanted to do is emulate the career of Brian Danielson. Whether it was his stuff that he'd done in Japan or his enthusiasm for the independence, whether it was 50 people, 500 people, 5,000 people, Brian Danielson left it in the ring every single night for all of these beautiful people. And I'm glad, I'm glad Brian Danielson is a fan of my work because he said, I have been staring down the lens of a Japanese camera saying I am the best wrestler in the world. Brian Danielson looked at me and said, prove it. <laughs> Brian, allow me to remind you what you said once upon a time. You see, after my match with Kenny Omega, everybody was talking about one move, the Tiger Driver 91. Or I butterfly my opponent's arms, lift him up and drop him on his knockers. No regard for the body, bruv. And you know what the most violent man for live TV said? He said, was it worth it? Speaking as the guy that was in the match with blood pissing out of my head and every single time my heart beat, more blood came out. And standing as the winner, Brian Danielson, I can say, yeah, bruv, it was worth it. <laughs> you see, Brian, while I respect you, this match on April the 21st means a hell of a lot more to me and it means a lot to a lot of people around the world. Do you know why? Because the moment, the moment I step foot in AEW, there has been a phrase that has been following me and following everyone. And I believe all of you guys know it because Tony Khan knows it. The boys and girls in the back know it. And everyone here knows the phrase. Restore the feeling. Bruv, I am the feeling. It's about reminding people what AEW is. You put the best wrestler in the world against the best wrestler of the 21st century, and only one man walks out a winner. And let me tell you, let me tell you this. The one thing I have learned from Brian Danielson is that I can have respect 
for the man that stands opposite me. But the moment I walk into this ring, it's your life or it's mine, and I don't plan on dying, bruv. Tag team action, and you know the virtuoso Deanna Barraco will be very interested in that one. 